one of the most um, unexpected and in some ways most fulfilling experience of my life has been to work at, as a caretaker of the Sabarmati Ashram. And nothing really had prepared me to, uh, to face the ashram uh, and be part of that community for uh, close to six years. Uh, and, and what it revealed to me about the resonance of Gandhi was something that all my reading and writing of Gandhi had really not uh, prepared me for. Uh, one wondered as to why millions of people come to the ashram. They come as pilgrims, some as tourists, but largely as pilgrims, uh, moved by the sparseness of that place. Uh, it's, not, it's not always a very welcoming space, but uh, people come, uh, people are moved, people are touched. Uh, and that really was, uh, you know, answered for me this question as to where the charisma of Gandhi lay, which was his ability to reach out across generations, across barriers to people, young and old, uh, uh, children, uh, and, and people from across the globe. Uh, and each, each carrying with them their own image of Gandhi, each going back, um, both enriched and enriching the ashram in the process. So those six years for me, I think, were the defining uh, years of my life. Uh, it also opened up scholastically other things, which is really to, to be able to work on original materials, to set up um, Gandhi's archive, his ashrams, library, um, to get a sense of what uh, working on original papers actually means, to be actually uh, dealing with uh, material uh, papers that he had handled every day, books that he had read, uh, clothes that he had worn, or, or things that had been his. Um, I think that uh, the kind of intimacy of that those six years was the most important uh, for me, and uh, I think that's what's going to stay with me about about Gandhi, uh, not his books. Um, they were important, and they will outlast everything. But for me personally, it's really the option which defined my relationship.